first gen. So a lot of the things is uh, a lot of the things are new to me in, in a sense. Um, so this is like a whole new process for myself as for my family. Uh, so most of the things that I'm doing is kind of like going online and um, asking friends that are in law school who, who have gone through the process and stuff like that. Um, right now, I guess kind of what I'm mostly focused on specifically like studying the LSAT is just trying to get like, I guess, master it technically as you would say, it's like master each section um, and making sure I feel comfortable and understand what I'm doing. And I think that's the process I've, I've been doing uh, to kind of like master it better. Yeah, I get, of course. Yeah. I mean, building the foundation from the beginning is incredibly important and first gen certainly face some unique challenges. So I'm glad you've got the support now. I'm wondering, are there any particular challenges you're facing at the moment that I could support you on? I was kind of, kind of uh, astonished at some of the results that I was getting with like me with no, not knowing that there were, um, if I give me a moment, if there were like, uh, when there were like grouping in and out with voting bills, I got like about uh, probably like le about half right, half of them right. So I was like, oh, I didn't know I that that that's what that was called. And and then once I knew it was called that, and it was like a harder problem, I was like, oh, okay. I mean, kind of like the I was kind of surprised. What I, what I'm trying to get to is like I was kind of surprised at the result I was getting with just like the limited knowledge that I had from like the uh, the beginning problem. Yeah, I totally get what you mean. The LSAT plays on so many common misconceptions that we're all prone to making. I made a lot of those same mistakes regarding games like that with grouping games, conditionality and such. There's a lot to learn. And so you have to unlearn some more fundamental ways of thinking that we're typically prone to, and it takes time. The test makers are very smart. They know how people think. They have tons of data from years and years and years, and their problems keep exploiting the same errors again and again and again. So that means the test is predictable, and you can learn those fundamental concepts to avoid making those same mistakes again. So just allow that time. There are many, many other games like that one you can practice on as well to solidify mm -hmm. those skills. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Cool. Um... Yeah. Uh, Just keep chugging through the course, really. I mean, I, there's so much in there to support you on that game type and many others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I've got in uh, some, some of my, fr uh, my friend who's in law school here in Houston. I was also like giving me some of his resources. Like, uh, I think he had the uh, those pre tests that you recommend. Yep. Yep. Yeah, he had one of those. So he, he let he lent me one. And then I got myself one just uh, as extra because. Because uh, once I run out, it's like, okay, what do I do? I get another one, I guess, borrow it or let uh, let someone use it later on um, through their journey. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, pass it on, definitely. But I'd also recommend actually getting a subscription to Law Hub from LSAC because then you'll get the majority of the exams in the exact same format you'll take them in on test day because the exam is not on paper and pencil anymore. So books aren't going to properly show you what the test day experience is going to be like. So mm -hmm. I'd recommend getting the, the Law Hub subscription. It's 99 bucks a year and you get over 60, 60 exams in that format. You'll take it on test day. Oh, wow. So like, like 60, just like 60 exam, like, well, I guess like per exam, there's like how many questions about four or five? Well, there's a hundred questions per exam, approximately a hundred individual multiple choice questions. So one logic game might contain five or six questions typically. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to get more practice material than you could possibly use or need on a relatively short timeline, but it's plenty and you want to have those available to you. Mm -hmm. It's for 99, right? 99, 99 bucks a, for an entire year of access. You get two exams for free, even if you don't pay for the subscription, but mm -hmm. two exams is not enough. There's too much material that you need to learn and you mm -hmm. want to expose yourself to as much as possible. So I'd recommend typically taking 10 full length timed exams before test day itself, but you also want to work on plenty of other exams to practice either untimed to learn the concepts or as individual timed sections or doing questions by type as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cause like right now I'm still uh, working through the uh, logic game section. Um, yeah. Cause I mean, uh, my, uh, my dad's a business owner, so I have to kind of like juggle 
helping family, but then also like uh, this, like law school and stuff like that. Now, when are you yeah. taking the LSAT? Would you have a target test date in mind? Uh, uh, originally, target test date was uh, uh, for April. So this Wednesday would have been the cutoff for the April test. But um, kind of like reflecting back on it and like just like new things that arise with the restaurant. And I was like, okay, maybe not realistically. And then I was like, I don't feel necessarily prepared for that date specifically. I feel like it's too short of a time. And if, I mean, it's possible that I mean like grind every day and my schedule is too unpredictable to like necessarily go for like the April test. So I was like, maybe summer or fall is mostly what I'm looking for. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. It's great that you're supporting your family. It can also mean that the LSAT takes a bit longer. So I think that April might be cutting it a bit close. And if you take it in the summer or in the fall, you can still apply it early in the cycle. I mean, you could take mm -hmm. it in June, you could take it in August, you could take it in October. All of those would be totally fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, that's, that's kind of like the projection I'm trying to think of. Uh, well, I'm planning on to do so I can go uh, be fall so I can be so I can go the following year for law school. That's that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> Perfect. Well, it sounds like you've got a plan. Just keep working through the foundational material, get into the workshop recordings as as you like, as you need them, and also if you have access to the live classes, definitely attend those too. You can just yeah, all, was, all via Zoom. I was going to attend those uh, last week, but then no power, no electricity. Oh, then, yeah. I was, I was kind of upset about that, but I was like, ah, oh. like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta juggle them. <laughs> no, it is what it is, of course. I completely understand that. Many other students were affected as well, of course, by the, the, the mm -hmm. crazy winter storms that were going on, but they're all recorded. They're all inside the course, and we've got tons more happening each week. So just come to what you can and catch the recordings for the ones you miss. Yes, sir. Any other questions or things you'd like to cover today? Mm, no, sir. I, I was kind of, I wasn't sure necessarily what, like, uh, the meeting was necessarily going to partake to. So I was like, oh, should I, I was like, should I have prepared something? Not enough? at all. <laughs> Not at all. It's about whatever you need. It's about whatever you need. I'm just here to support you and any challenges you're facing and help you get set up. So awesome. I'm glad you're on board. Come to the classes. We got things tonight, tomorrow night. And so just show up, send in questions, and I'll do what I can to help. Okay. And it's, uh, uh, I think it's 7 p.m. No. Yeah, 7, PM. yeah, 7 Central, 8 Eastern. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I always confuse myself with that. But okay. Awesome. All right. I think that's it, Steve. Yeah, of course, Randy. Glad to help. I'll, I'll see you in class soon. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.